Hi everybody. Welcome to another edition of Two Hands in a Radio, where we take a look at, usually take a look at radios, uh, portable radios under $20. And today's a little different. Um, this one that's normally, uh, I've thought about it and, and I thought I don't buy myself a lot of radios. And it's like, well, duh, yeah, you do buy a lot of radios. Well, I buy a lot of radios for the videos. Uh, radio is under $20. But as far as a personal radio that I would take out someplace and listen to, I, I don't buy a lot of those. And uh, so today is something a little special. It, it's not under $20 by any means. And uh, let's, let's bring out our guest. It is the Texan PL310 ET. Uh, the ET model stands for electronic tuning, or easy tune, I guess it would be. Easy tune. Um, here it is. I, I've looked. I wanted a, a higher-end Texan. And I know the 660 is the one that I'm saving my pennies for. Um, but it's, oh, about $109 or so. This will come in about 42. You can find it cheaper. Uh, Amazon had it for 42. Um, so, but anyway, I looked at videos and and studied specs and this and that. And the biggest bang for the buck, it always came back to this. And it's like, okay, so let's try this one and see. So we just went up just a notch or so. I've done several reviews. Uh, with Texan models, and I'm always impressed with them. And uh, this one, I don't think is going to go into disappoint either. I think this is going to be kind of cool. I did get into this earlier and put some batteries in it, so I didn't have to fumble around with that. It takes uh, three AAA batteries, and I also uh, did the the easy tuning mode, the ETM button, and tried to scan. Here to see if it would pick up any stations it really didn't get a whole lot uh, today of course you know there again it's uh, 1 30 in the afternoon uh, we've got mag geomagnetic storms supposedly hitting the earth that knocks out shortwave uh, all the disturbances around um, shortwave is not the greatest reception on earth right now and because of all that stuff i suppose irma has something to do with it i don't know anyway i hope everyone's staying safe and and from all that mess that's coming our the florida's way and uh, you know our thoughts go out to them and, and their safety but anyway let's hope they have a texan pl310 et with them for or some kind of communication and uh Without further ado, let's tear into this thing and see what we got. Let's open the other end. See, I know how it's put together. You're greeted with uh, a nice set of earbuds. I've had a really bad story with earbuds, so I don't get too excited about those. I just kind of set them to the side. I'll let you figure out your own stories with that. And uh, I guess I should say, because they really could get bad, um, people wondering what I'm talking about. I had uh, the earbuds that go in the ear with the kind of the rubber tip uh, thingy, and one of them popped off and was stuck in my ear. And that was, that that turned me off with any kind of earbud. Sticking stuff in your ear, I'm, I'm done with that. So anyway, that's my story with that. Uh, we have a, what I liked immediately was, we have an instruction booklet. It's not a piece of paper uh, that we just pencil diagrams. This is actually a booklet. And I don't know. Oh, there's 20. It's all English. 26 pages of booklet. Very nice. And it also, you know how you touch my heart when you come with a carrying case or pouch. And they give me a Texan little pouch. Uh, neoprene pouch that I can carry this in. Very cool. And here it is. Let's see if we've got a kickstand here. I'll set it up. I'll put this up. And 
get rid of the box. I guess it doesn't matter too much. But here it is. And you can see right away, it's got a thermometer built in and it says it's 114 degrees. I had it setting out out here on um, beside me and was doing the scan and just letting it run and run and run and that temperature with that sun on it kept going up and up and up so I thought I better stop and before, or burn something up so it says 114 and no it's probably about 80 I would say uh, just looking at the front end of it uh, got a nice oh two inch speaker oh I do have I do have I guess pretty good, don't I? It is a two-inch speaker. And yes, folks, I brought a tape measure. I always talk about, I forget it. Well, now I brought it. A uh, two-inch speaker. We've got a clock and an alarm clock on this. So you can take this with you and set the alarm. Um, very cool feature, I think. Uh, it also, um, you can set it for Celsius or Fahrenheit. We're going to stick with Fahrenheit stuff direct entry keypad one of the biggest things that really i said oh this is nice you can just punch in where you want to go and go there immediately very nice very handy um battery meter here if you hold it down it'll show you your battery you can turn the battery meter on and off with that turn the beep on and off um uh, delete would be for if you had memories and things uh, you know stored up and uh, FM, medium wave, long wave. Uh, long wave would be, oh, I suppose like your uh, railroad station, railroad, oh, whatever, what are they called? A railroad company, I guess. Wherever their offices are, the, the radios they use to communicate with trains. And, and oh, you probably could get some fire and an and EMS. Uh, I think we've talked about long wave before. That's there. Uh, your shortwave meter band. This will take you to the the meter of of what shortwave band you want to go to. Uh, forty nine meter. Boy, now I'm going to guess. Forty nine meter would be uh, oh five point nine megahertz up to maybe six point three something like. And I'm just guessing. Don't go crazy on me with the comments. Um, you know, the, the, the uh, uh, 20 meter band would be 14 megahertz to 14.3, something like that. And so this, you can just jump to those, those sections and it'll show you here. Uh, make it a little easier so you don't have to understand all the meters. But for somebody that, that you know, you've been around shortwave for a while, you understand what those meters are all about power button uh, our display it has a light they can light up it's not going to light up right now um, you can lock the keypad you can lock it all in so nobody can come around and, and bang it around or anything and change anything um, there's our light button our easy tune mode that you go into and a vmvf switch would be um, you could go into memory function where your tuning knob will, will scan the memories or the VF button will be your tuning knob is for the frequencies then. We'll probably stick around the VF section right now. Uh, over on this side, boy that was a lot of stuff. On this side we've got a tuning knob and a volume knob. Very easy, straightforward. This is a, the volume is an indented knob where it's got a stop between each point. It stops and you might see my thumb kind of move there and stop and move and stop. Very nice. And the tuning knob's the same way, but it's not as pronounced. But it's kind of nice when you're trying to ease into something. You don't go too far. You can just click one click and say, there you go. The back side, we have the battery door. Three AA batteries. And the ever handy flip flap there to hold it up at an angle I like that it does show you the uh, frequency ranges shortwave it goes from 23 megahertz up to 21.9 megahertz so it's got a good really good range of, of coverage 
this, your USB, mini USB port, you could, if you had rechargeable batteries in this, you could charge this from your computer. Um, but only if you had uh, rechargeable batteries. You have a headphone uh, jack. And this has a FM and shortwave antenna jack. You can plug in your uh, external antenna and you can, with a three and a half millimeter adapter, you can plug your antenna in right there. Very cool feature. And of course, we can't be without our handy dandy strap. And let's see. Oh, and also with the battery button, you can flip between nickel, uh, high drive, whatever that is, stuff you buy at Dollar General batteries or lithium ion batteries, which would be rechargeable batteries. And you have to tell it which one you have. And the antenna, not a bad, bad looking antenna. And yes, I brought my tape measure. Uh, comes in at uh, 21 inches. So it's got a good length antenna, it swivels. It can still stand upright even if you have it tilted. Uh, they really thought about the design of this. And uh, wow, what a cool radio already. This is, this is cool. So let's turn it on, let's play with it just a little bit. And let's just see what, uh, see what we got. Tells me it's on. I'm in shortwave right now. Well, let's let's check out the shortwave. Down at 2300, um, it, it's nothing's going to be there. I mean, that's going to and it uh, also very little stuff's going to be down there. But then, as you turn your tuning knob, it tells you what number you're on, what volume level you're on. Ooh, there. You always remember you say, "Ooh, I put the volume on 10." Well, there, there's 10, 11 goes all the way up to 30 not that I've looked at this before but uh, so that uh, that's to me that's cool the tuning knob you can just turn here's the it'll tell you the 120 meter and you can zip along it also has a I'm trying to remember I don't know how to get into it Oh, the clock is 12 and 24 hours. What I'm going to do with this, and I'm going to set it for 24 hours, then set it for universal time, UTC. And I think that's, that's just perfect. And you'll see all your shortwave stations all around the world, everybody broadcasts in UTC. It's a universal time, and then you have to figure it out. Okay, here in Indiana, it's like six hours ahead, so you have to add. But anyway, so everybody can coordinate together what time it is and that's what I'm going to set it to UTC and uh, I think that'll be really handy but we're just tuning around now you know 27 and on up I mean there's nothing there we can spend there probably won't be anything now we're in the 90 meter what I keep stuttering and stammering around about display okay there we go display button will take you, you can have where your alarm set, temperature, uh, time, just the actual time. I didn't set the time, but you know, 103. Or you can hit it and get your signal to noise ratio. And what that is, it's measured in dB, I guess that's decibels. And, and if we find something, we can look at the signal to noise ratio of how strong that signal is coming in versus your noise level and very cool I'm I'm dazzled with that for for a radio like this I'm really dazzled with it but let's go up since it is 1 30 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday um, the rule is in the daytime anything uh, above 10 megahertz in the daytime at nighttime anything below 10 megahertz is how the shortwave propagation is so let's not play around in the low stuff let's just go up to the daytime stuff turn our volume up and we hear there's something there already almost very faint but you could hear it and this has that 
mute when tuning in between those little clicks, seven, eight. There's just a little bit of silence. Makes it a little more of a challenge to tune. You can hear somebody, there's your signal to noise ratio is gonna bounce all over the place. Already I can see this as a knob turner's dream. The knob's not bad. It feels just a little, could be a little more solid. It feels a little wobbly. Not bad though. Let's go up here. Seven, 11, 760 something maybe. And there again, it may just be a absolute rotten day. There, there was something. There was something anyway. Oh, there's Brother Stair. Yeah, at least we can turn him up and listen to. It's got great sound to it. Okay, and yeah, we're going to keep going from him. Okay, let's just jump up. There you go. Now here's Radio Havana, Cuba. How sweet is that? God, that sounds good. Really, really very nice and with all the remember what where i just said radio havana cuba is about to get their ass trampled with that hurricane irma um so i'm i'm surprised that i'm surprised they even have a station right now cool that's great so let's just I have no idea, but it's something. I don't know what, well, there's, it showed us the signal to noise ratio. Okay, it was the same thing, 39 and 25. Okay. I don't know if we'll get, I don't know if we'll get much more than that. Today, I don't know, let's try. My favorite. Yeah. Nine three nine five. That's coming in good. I doubt seventy four ninety comes in. It's not the right time of day for that. So we know how that works now. Our shortwave meter bands. There's the thirty one meter. It starts out at ninety two hundred. So you're there at 9200 and then you just start in and start giving it a crank. And there's that 9395 that I talked about. There's that. Let's go on up, see if we can go up to 10,000. I won't bore people. There you go. There's WWV, the time station. So that's coming in good. I don't know if we can get it at 15, 5,000, no, it's every 5,000, 5, uh, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000. Okay, and there it is again. Very nice tone. Okay, cool. Isn't that cool? Huh. I like it. Let's turn that down. So anyway, back to the shortwave stuff. You can go up from there or down from there uh, band-wise. There's a 15 meter, 13 meter, 120 meter. It starts back over at 2300. 
so you can jump through the different bands and then you can manually tune it or you can hit your ETM switch and what it'll do is go through from 23 all the way up to the very top end and it'll put all the channels it finds it'll put those in a temporary memory so then you can just go through and your tuning knob just flips through all those memories and you can hear what state all the stations that it finds in your area very handy when you're on vacation and you just want to know what what's out there what you can uh, listen to it's fantastic on am and fm on shortwave i'm a little leery of it because the shortwave propagation changes so rapidly i mean as uh, with the earth rotation and and sun and all the stuff that affects propagation those stations can fade out every 15 minutes to 30 minutes and and so it could go through its scan but then that station's gone so it thinks something was there and it'll just be noise then it'll just be static so in shortwave eh I myself I would rather learn how to use the bands I'd rather learn how to enter in the frequencies myself use the tuning knob to scan that's that's where I'm at that's what I would rather do and so there's that let's just kick over to FM quickly and it starts way down there in the bottom I have no idea. It's pulling in stuff that I've not listened to on on FM. Here's uh, Indianapolis, about 50 miles away. Pulling in just fantastic. Just go to Greener Gadgets. Huh. Takes my wife's name, which was one of the... Oh, let's go back. Well, there's Q95. So this has got great reception. Fantastic. Let's go to, uh, to Medium Wave. And there again, you can hit the easy tune mode and, and scan away, but you don't have to. You can just thumb through and... Right there, Cincinnati. WLW out of Cincinnati. All the other little portables I've listened to don't get that. So let's wind up to... Okay, so, so there's. I've never heard of this before, and so you're like a. Russian there's our local station. Let's go another. Here's another tough one to get. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, man. That's Indianapolis. Okay, I'm, I'm blown away already. Huh, what else can I talk about on this thing? Um. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm going to turn that off, and it tells me off. Still says it's 115 degrees, and that's because it's sitting out in the sun, and that sun's glaring right on wherever the little thermometer is that watches all that. It's really baking away. Um, let's put that down. Man, I tell you what, and you know, if you have played along at home and you've watched any of my videos, you know this is the part that I just get all, all, all thought provoked. Um, yeah, I don't know. No, I, I don't think, I don't think I will rate this one one to ten. Uh, the radio is under twenty dollars. I rate from from one to ten what I think they are. And we have some good ones, and then we have some bad ones. Um, no, I, I'm not going to do this one that way um, because it would be like 9.9. .9. This is like very, very cool. Um, man, um, you know, if you all have 
$40 in your pocket. I can tell you how to spend it. You need to get one of these. This is very, very nice. Um, and like I said, I'm saving my pennies and I'm really looking forward to getting the PL660. And I am just brave enough to say we would set them side by side here and have a little shootout and see, compare the two. Um, this is fantastic. The only, only negative I can see is I don't know if you can see that or not. That knob is, is I would not want to bang that knob on anything. And I certainly wouldn't want to go at it heavy handed and, and act like a moose and grab a hold of it or something um, for fear of breaking that off. That's the, that's the only negative thing I can see on this radio. Um, what a fantastic, fantastic radio. And of course, you know, all you have to do is look at the brand name. Oh, my arm's going to sleep. Look at the brand name, Texan. Yeah, I mean, that, that pretty well. That pretty well sums it up, and uh, but I'm not going to rate it. I this is this is this is just for me, really. Uh, it's going to go with me, and and like I said, I'm going to program it in for UTC, 24-hour clock UTC, and it's going to sit by all the other big radios. And uh, you know, if if you're evacuating from a hurricane, I I sure as hell wish you hope you have one of these with you. Um, I mean, there's some other choices out there. The Cato makes a fantastic emergency radio, and uh, but you need you need a radio with you in these times. And it's a great way to to get news and and from around the world, and and you get to see. What I like about it is I I, I can hear what people think of us, and what do they think of the USA, and and you get to hear what's going on everywhere else, and. You know, um, the voice of Vietnam and how nervous they are with North Korea and things like that. It's just, it's fantastic information. I just love it. And I said in one of the other reviews that this is what, where your social media started. People gathered around their radio and they listened and and got their news and their their you know their entertainment and game shows and and theater and everything came in off of this radio and that's what attracts me to it because it, it's it is the internet it is your social media before it ever came about and that's what makes it so cool and if you you know if you want to go something old school pick one of these up and learn how to use it and just just sit back and enjoy it it's just a ton of fun so with that, I better shut up, and, uh, you know, I'm sure I have rattled on for quite a while. Um, fantastic radio, and I, I knew before I even opened it up, I knew it was going to be a uh, keeper. Um, looking forward to many, many hours of listening with this. And uh, so with that, I'm going to end this review, and... I may cut the hand strap off because I really don't like those. Um, gets in my way, I guess. And uh, I'll end the review. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope everybody stays safe. And, uh, you know, just uh, happy shortwave listening. And, and if I can, you know, I'm, I'm not here to sell anything to anybody. I don't make money off these. Texan could send me a bunch of radios for a good review. Um... You know, I don't do that, and but if I could inspire somebody to say, hey, that looks like fun, I'd like to listen to that. And, and you know, if, if one person does that, then it's all worthwhile, and I just have fun doing it anyway. So with that, I'm going to say happy shortwave listening, and you have a great weekend, and we will see you on the next review.